on the religious side, uh, it depends on who we're talking about. Okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't see any way of reaching sensible reconciliation, reasoned, reflective reconciliation uh, with I'm not going to get personal and name names at this point. That would be, that would be inappropriate. But th there are folks out there in uh, the U.S. who are, I will call, extreme fundamentalists, who are locked into a particular religious point of view. I, I don't think they're movable. Uh, the particular point of view that they are locked into, to my mind, is so antithetical to everything that the heart of Christ's teachings amount to, that I think talking reconciliation there is hopeless. Now, wonderfully, we live in a country that has nominally religious freedom and they can do their thing and I will do mine and I will ask them with the protection of law to leave me alone to do mine and I will, with protection of law, leave them alone to do theirs. So I don't think that just because we can't agree with each other that the only solution is kill each other. Uh, the, the better solution is to disestablish religion, separate church and state, and opt for live and let live.